baking soda. So we're going to talk about baking soda and it's going to be a quick video. It's just something I recently found out that I thought I should share. Um, the most common type of baking soda you'll see all over YouTube is of course this one. Commercial brand Arm & Hammer. Uh, the baking soda, they have the toothpaste and all these other stuff. And a lot of people are using this. Now I bought this, this is like a large box of course, it's one kilo one kilogram um, and I use this um, was using it it's actually finished used it as an exfoliator and um, yeah mostly to exfoliate my you know face underarms sometimes full body um, I used it sometimes in my conditioner um, I've used it for lots of different uh, reasons so I ran out and I was about to pick up another one and before I picked it up I decided to do a little re a research about baking soda. So what I came up with is that this stuff right here although the ingredients on the box uh, the only thing listed as ingredient is sodium bicarbonate it turns out that it has aluminum in it. So I'm thinking, okay, I stopped using deodorants with aluminum because they were making my underarms darker and I'm trying to get my underarms lighter um, by staying away from, you know, the aluminum stuff. Not just for the dark, but actually I'm just not comfortable about the whole idea of aluminum going into my body. I'm trying to stay away from, you know, um, anything toxic going into my system and, um, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to use any deodorant that has aluminum in it. And watched a couple of videos on YouTube, great videos by great people, and basically the idea is you exfoliate and do other things and you can get your underarms lighter. Problem is, I'm not using the, I'm not using the aluminum deodorants anymore, so why on earth was I using a baking soda that has aluminum in it. Now some people will tell you it's not a lot of aluminum, it doesn't matter, but any type of aluminum, any kind of toxic thing that's going into my body, I don't want it right now. I'm going through a little, you know, transition, you may call it, where I'm trying to get, slowly get rid of certain things. So this is one of the things I'm starting with. I'm getting rid of this. So this is going to go in the garbage. Not on my floor, by the way, but <laughs> I'll pick it up later. Anyway, so I picked this up at the health food store. It's Bob's baking soda. And as you can see, it's aluminum free. So this is what I'm going to do because I'm not trying to get cancer. I'm not trying to get all sick up in here. So I just wanted to come on here. This is also gluten free. Um, and of course, some people use it for baking and other stuff like that. And that's, that's great. Um, I don't know, uh, baking, um, powder as well. Um, there is such a thing as aluminum free baking powder as well. So needed to share that with you. Hope you guys enjoy this or you learn something from it. If you like it, please like. If you dislike it, dislike. Any kind of feedback is better than no feedback. If you watched it, it's great. If you let me know you watch it by liking or disliking. Um, sub if you haven't subscribed yet suffering from alopecia hair loss and documenting it on youtube so bye for now we'll see you soon peace and love